Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of composing and decomposing numbers. This is standard 3.2a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 28 of the redesign practice online star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we have an expression here, and we need to show, show an expanded form of this number, 92,060. So I'm going to use my graph draw feature. I'm going to open it up here, increase my transparency so I can still see the problem behind it, but I can draw all over it. I find it kind of interesting that we see here in this expanded form, but really, when we're looking at A, B, C, and D, we, I'm used to calling it something a little bit different. I'm used to calling it expanded notation. So those two are very close to each other. Expanded notation is a type of expanded form. But expanded notation here, what it does is it's a multiplication problem, right? And you're multiplying the value of the place value times the digit that's in that spot. So let's take a look at our 92,060. All right, so uh, let's spread it out a little bit. 92,060. And let's put some, some values here, okay? So there's our comma, right? Uh, so I've got my ones place right here. I've got my tens place right here. And I've got my hundreds place right here. Those are our first three places we've been learning those uh, since basically kindergarten, right? And this is all just the, the ones period or the ones family. Uh, this is the initial opening family. Uh, and because it's, it's just ones, 110, 100. But once we get into that comma, we, we repeat it again, right? We've got the one, we've got the tens. And if we wanted to keep going, right, it would be th uh, hundreds, but we don't have any digit there. But instead of the ones, right, it's the thousands. So this is my thousands family. So 1,000, 10,000, 100,000. And then the pattern simply repeats. Ones, tens, hundreds. Ones, tens, hundreds. Ones, tens, hundreds. You just replace the family name. So I've got my 92,000. So let's take a look at this, this 9 right here. So this is a 9. But look at the place value it's in. Right, so this is in the ten thousands place because there's my ten, there's my thousand, and if I want to, I can just kind of think of okay, so it's nine times, and then look at the the place value here. Right, this is the fifth place over, so I can put a one, and then I can just kind of match my zeros. Right, so nine times ten thousand. So you see, I've got that. I don't have that in D. But I do have uh, that in B and C. A and D are already already gone because they do 9 times 1,000. But you need to match the place value it's in. And that 9 is in the 10,000th place. Okay? So now I can do 2 times. And then this 2 is in the 1,000th place. Right? So I'm just going to write 1,000. I'm just going to match what I have right here. So what I could do is I could just match the number of zeros that I see in that place. That's the fourth place over. So it's going to be 2 because that's the digit that's in that place value times the value of that spot. Well, that's 1,000. Okay, so 2 times 1,000. You know what? This That C is not looking good anymore. Or that C is looking good. The B is not looking good because of that 2 times 100. But that 2 is in the thousandth place. Uh, we don't need to write anything about these two zeros uh, because there's just nothing there. So let's just get into that 6. That 6 times, well, that's in the tens place, right? So we're going to put a 1 and then 1, 0, uh, and that's just going to be 6 times 10. So if you add these up, right, if you if you take this at, at you know, like a vertical addition problem, you could, you could get all that back to where you wanted to with 92,060. And we've got that 6 times 10, looking good, looking good, looking good. So our answer here is going to be C.